Hello and welcome to the Glass Gallery. The exhibit this week is called Caribbean Dreams and it, it's six Caribbean artists who are representative of the countries that they come from. It's colorful, it's exciting, and I hope you're gonna enjoy it. And this very talented artist is Evelyn Lebrere. And this is some of her gorgeous work. I was telling you before that your work is so strong and so powerful that for some reason in my head, I thought it was done by a man. And then I looked and I said, Evelyn, could be. <laughs> Where are you from? I am originally from Guadeloupe. What do you, what do you paint with? What's your medium? A acrylic. Yeah, all acrylic. No, uh, this one is in uh, the oil. That's oil. Oil, yes, exactly. And that? This one is acrylic also. Yes, looks it's like it looks like mixed media. It's it mixed. Like, it's mixed media. Is Ex it? Yes, it is. Yeah. It is. Yes. Well, you do beautiful work. Thank you so much. And, <laughs> and you I so appreciate much. your thank work. You. And thank you for letting us hang it here. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. And a Caribbean artist named Vladimir Lescoufler is here with us tonight. Vladimir, it's nice to see you here. Yeah, thank you. It's, and, it's great to be here. And that's a great Caribbean lady. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yes, she is very lovely. And yeah. where is she from? She's from Haiti as well. And you're from Haiti too? Yes, that's correct. And how long are you here? I've been here for 41 years. Oh. So I, I practice, you're a I'm native. American. <laughs> <laughs> and where do you paint? I paint where I'm most comfortable in, you know, my living room you know my porch yeah <laughs> so many artists that's yeah. where they paint and I started oil painting I did a couple of oil paintings maybe 15 years ago and then I stopped and then I, I picked it up again last year so it's been really? I can say like a year <laughs> that well, I really really got into it and I studied it and, and and you know studied the colors and how to mix the paints and everything so, so you like oil I, I love oil you're yes. a patient man <laughs> You do nice work, oh, and I, I, I love your lady, so... Yes. Thank you very much. Very nice to meet you. Same here. <laughs> this is the work of Jocelyn Telson. Jocelyn, hi. It's nice meeting you. Good evening. It's very nice meeting you, too. And your work is lovely. Oh, thank you. Where are you um, from? I'm originally from Haiti but I have lived uh, most of my life in New York and recently came last year to Florida to live. And you paint in acrylics? I paint in, mostly in acrylic. And uh, my, uh, my uh, style is um, impressionist. Yes. And I also use the knife. Yeah, the, the putty, the, it's like a putty knife. Exactly. Yeah. The putty knife. Makes a very interesting texture. Exactly. The texture, co texture comes, comes out. out. Yes. So. And you do lovely work, so congratulations. Thank you so much. Enjoy your evening. I want to say hello to some very important personages. Commissioner Jack McCluskey, Mrs. Norma Menashe, and our own, very own favorite, Benoit Menashe. Ben, say something about your show. The Caribbean Dreams is really a dream. You have to come and see it. Uh, the artwork uh, of six different artists is marvelous. Uh, I'm very happy with it. Uh, it's a very, it's give it's you a very gay, gay, airy yeah. uh, feeling. Yes. Good. And 
Norma is on the Agriculture Advisory Board, yes? Exactly, yes, I'm the chairperson. And actually the, the vice chair is here as well, but I cannot find her right now. I'm always amazed that from one exhibit to another exhibit, to see the caliber of art and the different type of art that the residents of Pembroke Pines are uh, lucky. To, to, to see. Absolutely. So I really would encourage everyone to come and to see the culture, the art that we provide for them. Good to see you. Thank you. You can almost float to each island <laughs> in this, really. Because there's a different hue, there's a different uh, spirit yeah. in each yeah. one. And I haven't even gotten to see all of them yet. I haven't been around the corner um, yet. But uh, they're beautiful. They're, they're beautiful. Say hello to one of the Glass Gallery's favorite artists, Regine Mercier. Hi, Regine. It's hello. nice to see you nice again. Nice to see you again. Yeah? It's been a while. It has been a while, and you have been very busy. Thank you. <laughs> you're, you're really working. Where do you work? Do you, uh, do you have a studio? Actually, I work from home. I have converted my little patio into my studio, so that's where I work. Ah. Right. You're, every every time I see your work, it gets better and better, and you get younger and prettier. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Actually, I've started uh, using another medium, which I did not bring right now, because it's entirely different. Uh, I'm working with uh, ink and acid on paper. Wow. The process is a bit be hard slow on, your hands. on my on my lungs also. The process is a bit slow and uh, it, it really make me sick a few times. So the doctor is telling me not to use it. So I have to take my time. I am trying to do a, 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 a collection of at least 50 before, before I do, you show before them. I show them. When you show them, will you show them here? I am sure at some point. <laughs> I am sure at some point I will. Have a wonderful show. Thank you so much. It's such Thank a you. pleasure to see it's you again. It's a pleasure again. to be here. Thank you. This is another talented Caribbean artist. His name is Sean Glenn. Hi, Sean. Hi, how are you? Doing good? Yes, I'm doing wonderful. I like your painting of the lady with the attitude. Thank you. Um, I think all women have an attitude, and when they express it, especially in the face, it's amazing to see. You work from a photograph? Yes. I mean, I can work from a photograph, or I can paint live. Live. So you're the, one of those artists that doesn't eat, doesn't sleep when you're working on a painting? It's difficult to eat or to sleep while I'm working because that's all my mind has. It's the concept and until I'm finished with it, I, I get no rest. So I have no choice. Okay, so don't rest, just keep working. <laughs> I will. Because you're doing a great job. Thank you very much. The Caribbean sculptor in this show is Wilhelmina Michelle Dumas, and I don't know how you do it, how you work with those little teeny pieces, but this was, um, will you tell to what this is? Well, originally this was part of an earthquake exhibition. The earthquake in Haiti. The earthquake in Haiti, and it was one of the nicer pieces because all the others were so somber and this represented an orphanage where the building was still standing but it was compromised so they had to take care of the children out in the yard so this is what this tableau represents so these are the infants these are the infants these are the babies this is the toddler age yeah and then this guy's getting a little bath and this one's waiting <laughs> i love the bath water it's it's great. It's great when it, it falls down the body. <laughs> she does such things with the little, the little things that you, you would overlook, like, like the toys and the, and the bottle. Um, you're wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, and what do you work with? Well, it's what is this media. made from? The, the people are clay. 
and there's fabric involved also and different uh, textural materials. And glue? And glue. Actually, it's, this is really not glue. What is it? It's a textural material, but it has the same qualities as a glue, you might say. And it drips like, and it drips. like yes. water. Great. It's a great piece, and they're all great. I mean, your pieces are, every year they get better and better. Thank you. So that's our Wilhelmina. I hope you've enjoyed this art show as much as we have. It's called Caribbean Dreams, and we just love the artists and the artwork. For OCTV, I'm Elaine Kugelman, and thank you for joining us for this art reception for Caribbean Dreams.